Hi everyone, welcome back to I Enigma. This is Enigma, so I'm going to do Cancer for September 15 to 22nd. Let's see the messages for you. And this is going to be a general reading as usual. Take however resonates and read what does not. And if, if you want more accurate readings, I'm available for personals on WhatsApp, Instagram, and email. Also, do I pray based spells for your highest good? You can reach out for the same as well. Story spiritual and also energize crystals to personalize you for you with your intentions. So anything is available, you can reach out. Also follow me on Instagram for free monthly horoscopes that will really resonate throughout the month. And check out all the feedbacks offers on my Instagram soon. Follow me there. Last but not the least, do subscribe to me on my YouTube channel. I also have my Hindi channel, guys. If you know Hindi, please do not forget to subscribe and help it uh, reach out to as many people as it can. Okay. All right, Cancer. Eight of Pentacles. Okay. Then we have Five of Wands. We have Nine of Wands. We have King of Pentacles. We have Page of Swords. We have Justice. The Devil, Two of Cups, and the Star. <clears throat> hmm. Cancer, you're working really hard to make ends meet in some aspect, in some situation. You're working very, very hard. There is a lot of challenge, there are a lot of struggle, there are a lot of tasks that you have to complete within a particular timeline. I feel like somewhere you're in need of support, you're in need of guidance, you're in need of support is mainly there. And I feel like the confidence is somewhere like uh, you're feeling shaken at, at some point, like at some place. Cancer, I'm also seeing that your main focus right now is your money, is to get the outcome of the efforts that you're making. But trust me, Capricorn, your money is definitely going to be rising. There's growth, there's stability, there are achievements. You're going to bring about big achievements in your life with this money. So I'm seeing yes. If you're asking for stability, it comes after a struggle. Finally, you'll see yourself becoming or feeling more stable and consistent with your work, with your passion. And you know, everything requires uh, focus, attention that you're doing. I'm sensing there is someone in your love life that is not very happy uh, with your success. There's someone that feels insecure because you're moving towards new beginning that you've forgotten this person. You're in your life. You're busy working for yourself and you're not bothered about whether this person is available, exists or doesn't exist. So there is someone that wants you to focus on them. This could be a past person you've had a recent fight with. And because your focus is elsewhere, this person is feeling really very insecure i feel they have ego issues so they might want to come back for ego boost and that's it this could be someone that is younger or immature okay that just wants to you know act they act supportive but they become defensive when you need their help as if they're just getting an ego boost from you cancer so I'm seeing like slow and steady wins the race kind of a situation for you, Cancer. Very soon there's someone new that's coming in. I feel like with this new person, your person that you're leaving behind is going to be extremely jealous and hateful. You know, this person also might put blames on you, fake ones, okay, may act like a victim. And this might come to you as a shock as well. However, you're pushing this person away, okay? This time you're not going to take any kind of drama from this person at all because I feel like the one that you were taking interest in has a very, very low self-esteem. 
they come from a very low self esteem so you demand justice and i feel like success is going to actually happen in your favor because you know that you've been right all this while and you're not suffering from any kind of insecurities unlike the person that you are interested in okay so with this i'm feeling there's someone new coming in but then this past person the more you're going to move away from them the more they're getting obsessed with you so this person is obsessing over you what are their feelings for you let me see i'm also seeing there's a new beginning coming there's someone new coming in there's a new relationship developing there's an equal give and take we will talk about it but first i want to know like this person the the one that is obsessing over you what are their feelings for you cancer yes yeah, see i told you this person has ego issues they only need an ego boost from you i feel like this person thinks that at one point of time you were under their control you did as they wanted you know you were always uh, bowing down to their needs their expectations their orders in a way they felt really good okay and since there is no one else to make them feel special they want to you know kind of come back and control you because that's where their ego you know uh gets uh stroked and ego gets satisfied so they want this connection to happen for the satisfaction of their ego so this is clear that things are not going to work out because this person wants you for their own selfish reasons let me see what are the outcome with this person i'm seeing this could be another water sign as well okay or a libra gemini aquarius could be a mix of um, water and fire and air okay the lovers you're going to choose someone else over this person So this is the final outcome of the person that is um um playing you along. So I feel like you've realized that this is not where your future lies. This is not what you deserve. So you decided to let it go and move forward towards new beginning. I'm seeing that you're being blessed with a soulmate coming into your life and that's a completely new chapter that's opening up in your life. Okay maybe this is a Gemini maybe this is an Aquarius but I'm seeing this is happening very very soon so you're going to choose someone else over this person that's just stringing you along Let's talk about this new person now So I'm sensing that this is someone that actually is coming with a lot of love as well as a lot of respect every connection just do not deserve love it also deserves respect so this person is someone that is going to be emotionally available all the time when you need them there is a lot of passion i feel like you will really enjoy being in company of this new person coming in there's a lot of uh, emotions between you guys there's a lot of sensitive emotions between you guys and again you can see this is an angel and here again there are angels so i'm definitely seeing archangel raphael you must daily pray to archangel raphael before going to sleep with your sincere you know words that please bless me with the um, deep love with great love you know with my soulmate please bring my soulmate you know however you want to say it it should be coming from your heart so that is why i'm leaving it on you you can say anything that you want should be short and crisp so pray to archangel raphael because he is around you going to bless you with the right kind of a soulmate with a person that you're going to be ending up with that is best for you to end up with so i'm seeing your emotions are being uh, taken now uh, seriously by this person i feel like you come to their life as a a star they think that you're a star they think that you have uh a quality that's very different from other people they've met till now and you're like someone special to them you're a star in their life otherwise also if if, if you're in entertainment or something like that you might get popular this is what i'm seeing and this going to make you super happy and going to help you allow more opportunities to find new love i'm seeing you are able to clearly see what is right and what is not right what is not going along your uh alignment along your desires what is not aligning with your desires 
you know what is against you and what you sh you you must leave behind in order to find you know happiness in the end of the day so i'm seeing there's a lot of yellow here i'm seeing you have you know you're excited for this new beginning and you're able to clearly see like there's a clear consciousness to what is not working out for you and what you must do in order to find clarity i feel like you have much more uh vision for future but much clearer vision for future so you know what what you want what you need to go after what you deserve okay so I'm sensing that the one that you were leaving behind is very, very dark energy. This person is extremely dark, very dark. They made you work a lot. They made you put efforts a lot and never reciprocated it because this person always wanted to suck your energy. Like this was an energy vampire. Let's talk about this new person. When are they coming into your life? Cancer. Okay, six days to six weeks to even six months, depending upon how easily you're getting rid of the past and how quickly you switch your energy from a confusion to clear consciousness. This person could be a Libra that's coming in. Um, but this is someone that may be offering you some sort of a help, like professionally you guys meet in some sort of a, you know, guidance or counseling uh, they provide and I feel that's how maybe this is your mentor somehow this is someone at your workplace that might be your senior that might help you a lot in your work so this is someone that is very helping okay they may reach out to you to help you to be there for you so I feel like that's how the connection develops there's going to be a, a, an equality in this there's going to be balance in this because you guys know each other respect each other and help each other so there is a lot of passion this person feels for you and they're very, very passionate to be there when you need them. So they're always available for you. That's what I'm seeing. This is someone that likes to do a lot of charity and they have good money, like they have a good bank balance is what I'm seeing. What else? Cancer. Ooh, the five of, one, oh, five of swords and the three of cups. Okay, please clarify. We check another cards okay please clarify five of swords and three of cups please clarify this okay please clarify the magician okay mm -hmm. all right the hangman someone is still stuck on you and you know who this is this past person is still stuck on you and I feel like they might come and create a lot of fuss between you and a potential new lover. I feel they're still stuck on you and they're not able to move past you and move past this, you know, um, this ending, this failure. They feel like a failure over here. So they still want to conquer on you. So this person is someone that's not leaving you behind. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Pisces. They want to come back around you know, try to distract you from this new love, get you into that same energy and uh, then leave you alone like that. So I'm feeling there's someone that's, that wants to kind of take off, take a revenge uh, because they're not able to take a rejection positively. This person is playing, going to play a lot of games with you. The past is coming back to really try to drain you and suck your energy and bring you to ground level again. So you have to be careful about not entertaining this person because they're still stuck on you and they're obsessing over you and they want you by hook or by crook. Okay. So with the three of cups, there are new opportunities in love coming in. That is for sure. All right. Do not doubt this. Okay. The universe is blessing you. Okay. So if you want me to do this, um, type of a read for you please do like the video so that i know maximum likes means this video is actually something that you want me to do or focus on more like the tarot okay so let's see what this new person is more about this new person coming into your life
four of swords, the world, two of pentacles. Okay. Right. Hmm. I'm also seeing that this person, when they meet you, there's going to be an instant attraction. But they might not open up in love right away. Like, you might, you guys, you both of you have to go through, you know, a certain period of time to realize that you guys want to be with each other. Because there will be some energy of um, doubt and confusion and feeling stuck. From this person's end is also what I'm seeing. Okay. If your past is not interfering, I feel like this person is going to be initially doubtful. Maybe because you guys are coming from a different background. You guys are coming from different countries. But there's a distance or difference between you guys. Which makes them feel a little bit stuck. But they do want to take it forward. I'm seeing this connection developing, growing, going deep. Things changing. You guys, I feel like the connection is going to keep on renewing at every point of time. You both. This person is not going to give up on you. And I feel like they come in your life when you least expect it. When you're sad, when you're alone, when you feel tied down, when you feel like there's nothing new happening. You know, when you just feel tired of trying and trying and trying. So I must give you an advice that do not try because it's going to happen. And when it happens, it's going to change your entire life. So I'm seeing this as a new beginning where this person is going to be like a magic, you know, uh, in your life. Like they're going to come like a miracle. You guys are going to keep on, continue to, you know, renew each other, you know, love, in love. So you guys are going to be growing in love, okay? And there's a lot of passion here. I feel this person is full of, uh, you know, they have a lot to say to you. It's going to make you blossom, Okay, I feel like this is a very, very gentle person that comes in your life. They are very gentle towards you. This is someone that likes to think before they take action. So initially, there will be a lot of uh, time they will take to, you know, get to know you more and more and more. And they might not even be very open initially, but there will be an instant attraction. Yes, definitely I'm seeing this is happening. Like prepare yourself. You you must start to groom yourself, make certain changes that make that bring you that positivity back if you're not feeling positive because I feel with that, this person is definitely going to get attracted to you initially. I'm feeling you're blocking the past away. Most of you have already blocked this person. So there will be like a continuous growth between you guys, but this person, when it comes to finally getting into a commitment, they will take time. Okay, they will take time for sure. This is someone that doesn't like to rush into things. All right, but this person is, the more they get to know you, the deeper this connection will grow. But if you're already in that energy of negativity, when this person reaches out, things will become very difficult for this person to, you know, take forward and there will be more delays between this connection to grow there will be more disappointments there will be more energy that this person may have to put on you and this might eventually turn against you so that is why this period is very important for you to heal yourself so that when they meet you when they come into your life and you meet this person you're very happy passionate attractive all over again and then there is less for work or less energy required to you know shift your energy or change your energy because if you're in the same energy of uh, regret remorse sadness when the this person meets you there will be a lot of delays and uh, this person will you know stay stuck for a pretty long time because somewhere i feel like this person will not be happy uh, to see you still, you know, you know, still thinking about the past and uh, trying to get over, the, get over it to be with this person, they won't like that. They'll feel like they're beating in the bush, bushes, and they'll try to, or, or they'll just walk away. 
or this connection might create a lot of resistance between you guys. So when this person meets you, you must be at your best. To have a, you know, connection to move faster than you expect, okay, than you think. So you might push them away or you might not even give them a chance or you might come off as too cold or guarded. That is the reason also why this person might get stuck while moving forward with you. So you might come off as cold or guarded here. Tell me more. Any kind of blockages you guys may have. Knight of Cups, Knight of King of Cups, Page of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. See, I told you. There's a third party situation, and again, Three of Wands. I feel like the challenge for you is to let go of this person that you're still stuck on because I feel you're dealing with someone that's a big, big player. And they might be attractive, but they are not honest. They are not genuine. You might not like them for a long time because attraction stays for a short time. So this person is someone that that's attraction may fade away at one point of time. I feel like you're still attracted to them. You still want things can get better. Or if you've moved on from them, they might reach out to you and you might start to talk to them again. That's the only blockage that might create resistance between you and this new love because the new love is coming with full passion with full love emotions they have deep emotions like this is very deep this person comes towards you but they're very innocent as well so they do they would get hurt if they're being cheated on okay they get badly hurt so they don't want you to do that so I feel like it's very important to clear the air with the past and completely shut the door on the past person because somewhere there is still some unfinished business that you want to finish with this past person and that might create a big barrier between you and this new love because the one that's coming towards you finds you extremely attractive, independent, sophisticated, good in communication. One thing also that I'm seeing over here is this new love is very good in communication like the past never really communicated with you well they were never available or you're the one that made a lot of efforts okay but this new person is someone that's that you guys are going to build a very very strong communication compatibility with I'm seeing you're trying to slowly move towards this new person and this past person is not ready to accept that they might reach out and they might be like creating a lot of situations like that. Uneasy situations for you when you're with this new person. So you might be taking slow steps towards this new person whereas this new person is completely open in love with you. I feel that might create a blockage, okay? Because the past may be interfering. That's a very strong energy I'm sensing. Let's see. Stay optimistic about your life. Love life. And this is completely new love that's coming in. And then we have the one that's coming into your life brings a lot of wealth, luckily. Or there's someone that is very rich. I'm feeling this person's going to help you in such a way that you will definitely grow in your career. That's what I'm seeing. And then... This is not the person for you, the one that you're still stuck on, okay? You really need to heal yourself, your energy, align your energy. And I feel tarot readings, listening to the tarot readings of good tarot readers is going to really help you heal yourself. Make sure they're motivating. So you really need that. And then I can see, be fearless and bold. Somewhere you're fearful of letting go of the past. But I feel like if you do not do that, there will be no stability coming into your life. So it's very important. Do you want peace or do you want fuss because of this past person? It's all messed up. You really need to bring your energy back into alignment. Okay. So first thing that you must do is complete the cycle with this person, the past person, if it's not helping you in any way. Okay. And then I'm seeing there's a lot of growth happening, milk and honey, you will be you know, you'll be diving into sweet honey and milk. Like as if 
there's a lot of uh, abundance that's coming in okay your life is going to be a rainbow you have soulmate to come into your life and this is going to manifest physically for you very very soon so this is going to be a life-changing experience for you as i told you lapis lazuli there's going to be an amazing communication between you guys you guys will communicate with each other really well growth is happening definitely the connection is growing be focused that is ultimate that is very very important because if you still stay confused whether should i still give a chance to the past person then you're done then you're going to go down dance with life so let it happen the way it needs to happen don't try to control things okay the universe will make it work for you on its own you just dance with your own energy whatever makes you feel right do that but don't drain yourself to the negative people i'm also sensing cancer dancing might be your passion so you may be taking up that believe and succeed so i'm seeing there's a lot of success six could be your angel number yeah i'm seeing it's very important to relax and uh, i feel like it's very important to you know cancer especially for all the cancers out there you must not harm your self respect that's very important because somewhere i feel like the cancers are too sweet don't let anybody touch your self respect okay hurt your self respect you must stand up for it no matter how close this person is to you you must stand up for your self respect because that's where your confidence will lie and your growth will lie and your stability in life will lie so i'm seeing this focus with focus that you will be succeeding a lot so let's see cancer what are the signs coming forth for you we have another cancer we have scorpio we have virgo okay see the charms Okay. Your person may have A, E, G. I'm seeing age. Okay, someone thinks that they're running out of age. Age is just a number, or your person has, like, they might be older or younger than you. There's an age difference. Someone is from New York, but this is new love. See, I actually found a word like this. This is new love coming in. Someone's name is Agne, or Agnes, something like that. Okay. Gwen is another name. Someone may be having Gwen. Could be anyone's favorite singer. Okay. Wendy or Adeline or Someone's name starts from A I'm sensing. I'm seeing a black. Okay. race yeah and americans and i can see that the angel maybe this the name called agnes who was a god or something like that so they have their hand on you and i'm definitely seeing you're blessed with angels because this is also what it is telling through these numbers through these sorry letters angels okay l and s is missing angel wings okay you're a, you're a born angel i feel Let's see from Aries to Pisces your person's feelings for you. like i feel like they want to expand in love here you inspire this person taurus is like i feel like they're not able to give up on you they still want you back the gemini is trying to work their best to have you in their life because they cannot stop thinking about you cancer feels strong emotions towards you i feel like they have they know that there are a lot of fishes in the sea i'm also seeing the cancer is ready to start fresh with someone new this could be you this could be your cancer Leo is coming fast for a new beginning in love commitment. Virgo thinks that they've realized that uh, they've realized your worth actually. Libra, Libra is very impressed by your personality. They want to marry you. And then we have Scorpio. 
Scorpio is, I feel like they're very stressed out. They might be anxious. They cannot sleep without you. Sagittarius is very attracted to you as a personality. They want to get to know you more. And then we have uh, Capricorn is extremely passionate about you. They want to communicate. They want to come into your life and get to know you more. Aquarius wants deep commitment here, marriage possibly. Pisces is thinking that... I feel like the Pisces thinks that you're their soulmate and that you're the one that will be ending up with. Okay? So that's about it, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the read, Cancer. Do not forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell notification. I'll see you again. And uh, follow me on Instagram. Bye.